Hi guys and welcome to Simply Scuba. So this is another unboxing video. Right here we have the Nautilus Lifeline Marine Rescue GPS. So this is a handy little gizmo that's going to get you found if you're ever lost at sea. Uh, it works on sort of radio waves uh, and that's going to connect to any boat's sort of GPS system up to a, uh, a sort of a 34 mile radius. Uh, but let's take a closer look at the box itself. Uh, so on the top we can see it has a five year battery life. That of course depends on the battery that you use and how often you use it. Uh, it floats, so that's handy. Um, just you, when you're scuba diving, you're going to make sure that you've got it clipped off or somewhere secure in a pocket so it doesn't just float away. Uh, 425 feet depth rated with the cap closed. Uh, so that's about 130 something meters. You can correct me in the comments below. Um, but that's deeper than uh, that's deeper than I can go. Uh, made in Vancouver, Canada. You don't see made in Canada very often, um, but um, but yeah, that's a good thing. You trust the uh, you trust the Canadians. Um, don't get left behind. On the bottom, you've got M MMSI licenses or registration. No. Uh, so with a lot of EPIRBs, you have to license or register your uh, your EPIRB. But with this, uh, you don't have to do any of that. You um, you just pick it up, put the batteries in, and go. Um, yeah, low batteries and go. Uh, transmit GPS position to boats up to 34 miles. So what this basically does is it's, it takes your GPS location um, and if you're in an emergency, you push the button and that sends your location to any boat with a, uh, I think it's AIS system, which is just a GPS, um, in that 34 mile radius and it tells them where you are and that you need help. So, um, so a great piece of kit. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the uh, the back. So on the back we have uh, sort of more specs and features. Uh, personal search and uh, rescue GPS locator. Features AIS and DSC technology. So these are the different sort of GPS uh, sort of radio wave type um, systems that are used around the world. Uh, depending on which country you're going to be diving in, uh, you can pick and choose which one um, that you broadcast on. Uh, diver depth rated to 425 feet with the cap closed. Transmits GPS position to boats up to 34 miles. Uh, easy to use, no licenses or registrations. It floats, five year battery life, user replaceable batteries. Uh, batteries not included. A one year warranty as well, so that's quite nice to know. Uh, the specs, lots of different, uh, sort of, it tells you the wattage and the, uh, the frequencies that it works on. Uh, the messages, individual distress relo, uh, relay and distress alert, environmental temperature range from minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 55, uh, the maximum depth, uh, the dimensions, how big it is, the weight, it only weighs uh, sort of 130 grams with batteries uh, and what's inside of the box. So let's take a look inside of the box. So a neat and tidy box, very simple. Uh, you have your marine GPS rescue uh, and you have a little rewinder um, that's about it uh, for directions and online check the manual uh, and the rest is just foam padding so the GPS very small nice and compact um, you can fit that in a pocket you can attach it onto a lanyard or, uh, or sort of just velcro it anywhere I think there are a few different uh, sort of pouch options so you can slot it onto a belt and, uh, and deploy it when you need to. Now this is it in its closed form, so this is waterproof down to 130 meters. As soon as you open this little latch, it's just splash proof, so you only use it on the surface. Uh, undoing that, oh, uh, you're not gonna do that accidentally, so, um, so that's a good little feature. Uh, the cap just opens, you've got the waterproof seal in there, and uh, you've got instructions on it as well, so that's handy um, if you haven't used it in a while. So the blue button is your on-off button, so that's your, that just turns it on. There are no batteries in this, so, uh, so I'm not going to call the Coast Guard or anyone. Um, press that to switch it on. Yellow button is test, so you hold the yellow button for five seconds, so this T yellow button. Hold that down for five seconds, and then that'll test it. Then if you need help, pull or remove this cover, so this little plastic cover. Hold the red button for five seconds to activate, only activate uh, help in emergency, so yeah, don't do it at home just to practice. So you remove this little duh, cover, and uh, and that's your aerial. Uh, so your aerial springs out, um, and then you finally get access to the help button because this little case was covering it up. 
uh, so you can't accidentally call for help. Um, small little buttons, but they're color coded and, uh, and they're a little bit raised as well. So you can use that if you've got um, thick gloves. And the big aerial, that's just a you know, sort of thin bit of metal. Um, the good thing about this is that it's uh, reusable. So you can put it back in. I'm gonna do that now. This is with this little gizmo. Uh, you kind of, it's got a little flat head um, section in. You're just gonna slot that into the aerial and wind it in. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's not that hard. Keep going, keep going all the way down until it sits in its little cradle. And then what I'm actually gonna do is try and do it all at once. Put this cover back on and that will stop it from springing out. Unwind the winder and just pull that out gently. And there it's back ready to, uh, to rock and roll. So changing the batteries, you've got two Phillips screwdrivers. Um, just pull those little screws out and then the batteries will slot in there. I think it's just AA batteries, uh, but double check beforehand. Um, clamp it down, put that over, solid uh, seal on that. Yeah, fantastic. It feels nice and tough, um, quite rugged. Nothing moves on it. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap. It's quite a, uh, it's quite an expensive feeling plastic to it. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely think about getting one. So that's the Nautilus Lifeline uh, Marine Rescue GPS. Uh, very handy piece of kit. If uh, it's the kind of thing you, you always want to bring with you, but you never want to use it, just in case your, your boat disappears or you have lots of current that whips you away from your dive site, um, I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So um, yeah, Marine Rescue GPS. Uh, thanks for watching guys. If you want more uh, unboxing videos, let us know what you want us to unbox. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and safe diving.